。新闻开始带您来看到，昨天全球各地纷纷举办哀悼六四血案的活动，而远在波兰的美国总统奥巴马也发表相关谈话。奥巴马昨天在波兰华沙纪念共产党倒台二十五周年的活动上致辞，除了称赞波兰的民主典范，也首次提到了二十五年前中共镇压六四天安门事件。他强调，自由必须靠每一代人来争取。波兰华沙四号举行纪念结束共产党统治二十五周年活动，美国总统奥巴马在致辞时特别提到二十五年前的六四天安门事件。On the same day, 25 years ago, that Poles were voting here, tanks were crushing peaceful de democracy protests in Tiananmen Square, on the other side of the world. The blessings of liberty must be earned and renewed by every generation, including our own. And this is the work to which we rededicate ourselves today. 一九八九年，东欧与前苏联掀起苏东坡民主浪潮，德国民众推倒柏林围墙，东欧国家脱离共产铁幕统治，中国大陆开始出现大型学生运动，但是都被中共武力镇压，学运领袖被逮捕或是流亡海外。二十五年后的六四，外媒大篇幅报道 ，BBC 记者还亲自走访北京街头，只有中国媒体一片噤声。Far away from Tiananmen Square, and even here, there's a heightened public security presence, but there's no real sense that this date has any historical significance. June 4th isn't mentioned in the newspapers, and it's not on TV. It's effectively been erased from the public consciousness. CNN 记者也来到北京大学，问学生那天对中国人而言到底是什么印象。And this place, Beida University, was where the discussions started and the ideas started forming for the students to protest. Is it a national day? Have people forgotten history here? Ah,、uh, no. People don't forgotten history, but I should say in China, people are really tolerant. 在中共严厉封锁下，海外媒体仍大力报道六四与中国人权恶况，提醒中国人永远都不能忘了这段历史。新唐台电视，姜子阳、林瑜整理报道。